is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be discussing something and showing off a collection of mine that is very near and dear to my heart a special portion of the mdt the my damn figure collection here in the mdt collection guys my favorite sort of part of my collection it's just the weird side the dumb side the jackassery side of my collection just kind of shows a little bit behind the scenes of the channel here it's called it's sort of a collection of the memes of the channel and it just is just it's just sort of just it's goofy as hell so right here you will see ladies and gentlemen from left to right we have all of the figures in my collection that i would consider of the weird category now what do i mean by weird i mean you know they're a meme of the channel i mean that they're not you know generally you're not going to find any figures like this in anybody else's collection i would say that every figure in this collection is one of a kind if not close to it now that's what makes this part of my collection very special and it's probably why i probably value these figures the most out of my collection. Of course, we have my epic customs from all kinds of customizers around the world. We have, you know, beautiful fix-ups that we've done on action figure surgery. And there's just plenty of other figures that we could include in, you know, the epic, beautiful part of the collection. But these right here specifically are the portion that make MDT special. They're, they're the ones that tie memories into videos and tie memories into your brains and, you know, tie the subscribers to the channel and just, you know, just bring us all together, if you will. So if you, if you think about it, this is sort of the my damn family of the collection i'm not going to include myself i do have a who the hell is messaging me right now put that on silent i'm not going to include my commentator figure you know i could put myself in here you know the my my figure and brad's figure that's on commentary i'm not going to do that yet speaking of which we need to make my wife a figure that's absolute horse shit that we don't have one yet that upsets me you're upsetting jinxie cat we also need a sweet nasty farticles sign or 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 it's like a bag of farts or like farting in the ground and smell we need some Something to represent that on the channel somewhere. But today, let's just shut the hell up and get into it, guys. Today, I don't think I've ever shown off the full weird figure collection or the full memes of the channel. Not all of these are necessarily memes of the channel, but all of these are created slash weird slash dumbass figures here that are a part of the MDT channel. So what we're going to do is just sort of run through them and break them all down and just sort of tell the story behind them all. And I could be missing a couple. I tried my best to figure out every single one or ones that had like a story behind it. I'm sure I'm missing a couple. Again, like I said, my commentator figure, Brad's commentator figure there's probably some other figures in here that i'm missing but i think that these are probably the ones that you know are the closest to the heart and the ones that have you know just a tie to the channel in some portion whether it be a meme or a memory or, or some stupid thing so that being said guys let's go ahead and just dive right into it so we have to start off with the guy up front sitting on the ground guys and you're probably like brad that's just a regular john moxley slash dean ambrose figure well brad if you're a follower of the channel and you know anything you haven't been living under a rock everyone would know that this is actually selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. Now, the reason we say this, the reason that his whole name was created is I think one day on Action Figure Surgery or one day on, on some, some fix-ups video I did a long time ago, I took a John Cena defining moments, the one that's word life, you know, it's got these lower legs on it. We took that figure and we switched the lower legs with a Elite 48 Dean Ambrose, which is what this figure is. And you can see here, it creates like these long jort looks for the Dean Ambrose and then the John Cena had the long pants. While the John Cena kind of looked like a 2002-2003 Cena, this Dean Ambrose immediately kicked in my brain that he looks like a middle school bully. Okay, so a middle school bully is like just notorious for having pants that sag. I know they're not saggy, but they're pretty saggy. I mean, shorts that come down to the shin, they're usually pretty saggy. His shoes look like skate shoes from 2006, and it's funny because when I mentioned that in the video, I googled skate shoes 2006. These shoes were like the exact thing that popped up, and you guys know that in 2006 and like middle school bullies, at least when I was going through middle school, they all had a, this sort of look to them. And we all know that high school bullies sell cigarettes behind the gymnasium getting in trouble and probably have a troubled home back back at the, at the, at the house. So that was the meme that was born of Dean Ambrose selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium and, and he holds a special place in the MDT collection. Getting rid of him and moving on, guys, we do have Egghead Finn Balor, and Egghead Finn Balor was a video where I showed you guys I've known how to make figures bald for a long time, and I never made a tutorial video on it. So one day I decided, you know what, let's just shut the hell up. Let's get into it. <coughs> 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 
almost vomited. So I said, you know what, Brad, let's make a tutorial video on how to make figures bald. So we took a random figure, and it happened to be Finn Balor, and we made him bald, and it turned out that he kind of looks like an egghead, like he does, like his head shakes a little bit off, the, uh, you know, the head's a little bit too big there, and so what we did is we made him bald, and then, sure enough, we named him Egghead Finn Balor, because he looks like an egg egghead, and then he actually shaved his head bald in real life, and it became a real life thing, so he was automatically thrust into the limelight here on the channel. So there is Egghead Finn Balor, still holds a special heart. Finn Balor is not, you know, bald anymore, but I still think it's hilarious to this day. Egghead freaking bobble egghead bastard. Next up, guys, we have one of the memes of the channel that was actually sent to me, and I do not know who sent me this. I can't. It was a part of fan mail. It was actually this guy and this guy right here. They kind of go hand in hand. I guess they're kind of a tag team. You have... <coughs> Vomit inducing. Anyways, we have little E right here, and he is just, he is just a piece of shit. Nobody likes him, the little chrome dome bastard. I mean, look at his freaking head. Look at his face. He looks like an annoying little prick. And he actually was a two-time, I think he's a one or two-time MDT Battle Royal champion. Everybody hated him, man. They were like, get this son of a bitch out of the ring. They did not like him, man. He, he is definitely the most hated figure on all the channel. Nobody likes this man. And then, of course, you have his older brother, Big Torito, right here. So you have little E, Big Torito, they go hand in hand, and obviously there's just a head swap between Big E and El Torito, but they make a hilarious little pairing on the channel, and again, they absolutely hate Little E, and I know I'll probably get a bunch of comments about how much everybody hates him down below. Next up, guys, I'm going to pull off a figure over here from the side. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is from like way back in the channel, and I don't know if I've ever really showed this. I think I've shown it like maybe a handful of times on the channel, but if you guys don't know what South Paul Regional Wrestling is, it is a thing that WWE did. It was like a comical series on YouTube, and John Cena played a commentator on there. His name on the show was Lance Catamaran. And basically, it was John Cena wearing this wig, and he was a commentator. Very, very good role in there. He killed it on that series. And you guys know that John Cena is my favorite wrestler of all time. So I had to get this figure made. BEW made this head scan for me like three years ago or three and a half years ago. And it still holds up to this day. It's a beautiful looking piece, and it holds a special place in my heart. It is a weird figure, but I had to include it here today. Love this figure. And if you guys have not seen South Paul Regional Wrestling on YouTube, definitely go look at that. Look at that. It's freaking great. Next up, guys, we do have Trash Corbin. Now, right now, he is King Trash Corbin because he won the King of the Ring, so he's King Trash right now. But uh, ever since the dawn of my channel, I have explained how much I dislike Trash Corbin's, you know, everything about him. I don't like his... His in-ring ability has gotten so much better, and his mic work has gotten much better than the first time that I called him Trash Corbin. But um, I've been referring to him as Trash Corbin Corbin for like four and a half years now and it's just a part of the channel. It's just what we do here. And one of the good friends of the channel, Fix Skip Customs on Instagram actually made this for me. He sent it to me in fan mail. Same thing with the Little E and the Big Torito and they just instantly became memes on the channel and uh, you guys can see it's a sh it's a trash can with... Uh, he, he knew that I referred to him as Trash Corbin. I always referred to him as Trash Corbin. I've never been a fan of the guy. He's just not believable to me. And so basically he sent me this custom figure of a basic slash elite Trash Corbin been put together, put together with a trash can. He's super glued there, and it's just great. This is, to this day, one of my favorite parts of the channel. It's one of my favorite figures, and a huge shout-out to Fig Skip for making this figure possible. It's just such a believable and beautiful figure, man. You absolutely nailed this, even though it's very simple. Next up, guys, we have probably the most recent figure or the meme of the channel, and it is Streaking Seth Rollins, or Seth Streaking Rollins is what I like to call him because he's naked. You can see here he's barefooted. He's bare everything all the way down. You have the WWE title to cover up the nudity, and he is definitely the newest addition to the memes or one of the newest additions. I think he's actually the second newest, which we'll see in just a few moments, but he's hilarious. You got the elite set streak in Rollins. Everything's bare about it, and we've made some pretty funny posts on Instagram, and he makes for a good time, so set streak in Rollins is a great part of the collection. Next up, guys, is another figure that's pretty new, and it is this Michael Myers slash nightmarish piece of shit creator wrestler, which nobody has named just yet, and I still am not complete on this. He'll probably change his look over the years or over the months to come because I don't necessarily love the way he looks, but this is just a body placeholder for what he looks like right now. I'll probably stick that head on something else, but for now, he totally works. It's like a DDP Elite with a jumpsuit from the Elite 32 Daniel Bryan with the NECA Halloween 2 Michael Myers interchangeable head sculpt, and it just fits perfectly, man. I really like this, and it makes for a creepy looking figure, and he's got tattoos and everything. Still have yet to come up with a good name for him, so still looking for that. Next, guys, we have a couple Cena figures, and these are actually uh, two separate ones, but 
with this one on the left, we created him on the most recent episode of Action Figure Surgery. Everybody was naming him Juan Hardy down in the comment section, so I guess that'll be his name. Everybody wanted to do Jeff Cena or John Hardy, but I think Juan Hardy is even better because it's like, you know, it's obviously referring to Juan Cena when John Cena went under the mask and wrestled in a luchador mask when he was at live events like nine, ten years ago in WWE. He doesn't have a long-standing relationship in MDT yet, but, you know, he, he is a part of the channel. And then we have this random shield figure that was made out of a custom thrown together. I literally switched around some parts that you guys will find out about soon, and uh, this is just the result of that. It's not really a meme or anything, but it is a weird-looking figure, so I figured throw it into the weird collection. Next up, guys, we do have Gunshot Victim AJ Styles, and this is basically just a part of a rated R setup that we had. John Cena and Matt Hardy drove by, and uh, they shot up AJ Styles, and that's just what happened in the setup, and he just sort of, I kept the paint on there. It was just a random basic that I had, and you know, basics are pretty trash nowadays, so I just left him like this, and yeah, just a Gunshot Victim AJ Styles was born. I use him in setups all the time now. Next up, guys, is a figure that we have had on the channel for a very long time. Only OGs remember this right here, and this is Bumfoot Ray Mysterio, if you guys can see this, and uh, he was a part of our hospital figure video that we did a long time ago, and uh, it, it's always just been one of those figures that has never been fixed. Nobody ever donated me a left foot, so he has just, you know, just been chilling on, on the crutch ever since. He's literally never had a new foot, and, uh, you know, just for three cents a day, I, I hit him with the old sad tone, and I was like, you know, for three cents a day, you can donate to save Ray Mysterio's foot, but nobody ever did, and he's still bum foot. Next, guys, we do have another meme of the channel, and this is Jason Statham, another figure that was sent to me in fan mail. <laughs> ooh, ooh, not quite vomit action. But this was a Jason Statham custom figure. If you don't, if you guys do not know who Jason Statham is, he is basically an actor in Hollywood, and he's an action superstar. And uh, I've always been a fan of Jason Statham, and I just thought when I opened this figure out of the fan mail, I was like, holy shit, that looks just like Jason Statham. So now we have a Jason Statham custom action figure, and he is a part of the channel as well. So it's a weird one. Moving on the last three or four or five or eight or however the hell many, we have this custom elite Lita. Now this is you're probably like, why is this weird? Now the only part that's weird, guys, is that the chest is actually sculpted to match the rated R Lita from that time period. You guys can see the rated R on the thigh there. So I figured uh, it's pretty weird that it, you know, it has sculpt on the chest. And it's probably one of the weirder figures in my collection as far as that is concerned, if you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah. Weird Elite Lita. Figured it could be included. Moving on to the last four figures, guys. I guess we can start off with this guy right here. And it is our custom Elite Santa Claus figure that I don't think I've ever seen anybody recreate. We use this Braun Strowman figure. And this year, I actually found a hat at Hobby Lobby. So this year, Santa Claus is not going to be damn hatless in our Christmas video. He is actually going to have a hat and everything. And he actually may have a partner in crime to go with him in that video. We'll have to see about that. But it is going to be a nice little Christmas special that I plan on doing on Christmas Day. You guys know that we always try to do a little Christmas special or the day before. Maybe it'll be Christmas Eve that we do that video. And then on Christmas Day, we'll do like my Christmas haul or something like that. But this is a figure that I made last year and it still holds up to this day. Custom made pants that look like shit. But you know, we're not going to mention that. Custom made jacket as well. Looks kind of terrible, but it totally works as a Santa Claus Elite. I mean, get off my back, Brad. It's Santa Claus. And last but not least, guys, we have the Founding Fathers Faction. And if, if I ever get into my MDT, you know, NXT uh, developmental brand, these guys will definitely be a part of that brand. They are the Founding Fathers. You guys have the Custom Elite George Washington, who is the greatest president of all time. Without George Washington, uh, the United States of America would not exist, okay? Leader of the Revolution, saved our country, greatest president of all time, Face of the quarter, face of the dollar bill. We'll probably have a tattoo of this man one day, George Washington. And he comes with his axe and everything. And I just thought that, uh, you know, when I put him onto 2K and made him a wrestler in my little MDT creative brand, I had to make a figure of him. And BEW totally knocked this head sculpt out of the park. I was the one that came up with the, you know, the formulas as far as the formulas are concerned. But he is the one that brought the vision to life. And he absolutely murdered it. I used a Bret Hart head sculpt that looks identical to George Washington. Like, this looks just like George based off of the pictures and everything like that. I mean, my God, look how beautiful this is. Definitely probably one of my favorite figures in my collection. Like, if anybody ever asks if, you know, what's your favorite figure in your collection, this is probably, this is probably number one. So we have George Washington. We also have Abraham Lincoln, and this was a killer job by BEW as well. You have his tag team partner, Abe Lincoln, and I know I call them the Founding Fathers. Obviously, not all three of them were Founding Fathers. George Washington was a Founding 
Founding Father. Abe Lincoln came later, and then Teddy Roosevelt came later. But together in MDT, they are the Founding Fathers. And they make a fantastic tag team. They're all in like wrestling gear. Uh, Teddy more of in, you know, like a manager role, but I mean, the, the boots and everything match Washington perfectly. He comes with his red axe. Abe Lincoln looking classic in his wife beater shirt. Big arms there. Definitely some of my favorite figures in my collection, if not the top. And that pretty much does it for our means collection, guys. I mean, I tried to go with all the weird, you know, weirdest figures. That's probably what the video we called the weirdest figures in my collection or weird WWE action figure collection. But I don't think you'll find a, a more weird collection out there across the WWE action figure community. I, I really do not think you could. I know a lot of people do have some weird figures out there, and that's what makes the community so awesome is, like, people making weird figures like this. That's what, you know, brings out the life in the community and the creativity. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. This video ran much longer than I actually wanted it to, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Comment down below your favorite figure from the channel. You know, your favorite meme, your favorite weird figure. Comment down below, do you like Seth Streak at Rollins, George Washington, Santa Claus, Jason Statham, Big Tit Lita? Let me know down in the comment section below. Selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose, Trash Corbin, whatever the hell you want to say. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.